hey guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be making this beautiful pinafore dress that i'm putting on right now so if you're interested in seeing how to make this for yourself keep on watching and let's get started so these are the materials we're going to be using to make this dress so i have my african print fabric here what i have here is two yards and i have this black lining also i have this interfacing it's este so i have this this is totally optional you can decide not to make use of this and also i have my pattern paper here and then my measuring materials so now i'm going to go ahead and draft the top part of this dress on the pattern paper so i'm going to first of all draw a straight line across just like you see me doing like this so this line is going to serve as our shoulder line so now i'm going to start taking all my measurements from this line so from this line down to this point here i'm taking the measurement from my shoulder down to my waist so when you've done that you're just going to mark a line across like you see me doing here so the next thing we're going to do is to come over to the shoulder line here and you're going to divide your shoulder measurement by two so mine is 14 that divided by two is seven so when you've gotten that you're going to remove one inch from that measurement so i removed one inch and marked it here just like you see me doing here so from that point we'll come down by one inch to get our shoulder slope and then i'm just going to make a curve from there into the neckline just like this so when you're through with this the next thing you're going to do is to come over to this waist and you're going to divide your waist measurement by four so guys my waist measurement divided by four is six six inches so that's six inches again i'm just going to divide it into two to give me three and i'm going to make that mark here so now i'm going to use my ruler to connect these two points together so once you're through with that the next thing we're going to work on is the neckline so i'm going to from the center of the neck go in by three inches and then i'm going to come down by four inches so if you don't want your neckline to be so high you can go ahead and go down by five inches or six inches um at this point so after making this point i'm just going to connect the both of them using my curve drill so this is basically all for the front pattern i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out So guys this is what it looks like so when you open it up you can see how it looks like so i'm going to use this right now to cut out the back pattern so i'm just going to place another piece of paper down like this and i'm going to arrange the front pattern on it just like you see me doing like this now the only difference between the front and the back is going to be the neckline the neckline for the back is going to be higher so from the neck in front i came down by two inches so i'm just going to make a curve into the neckline from this point here so this is the back neckline that shows the difference between the front and the back pattern so i'm just going ahead now to trace out every other thing as it is in front so now these are the two different patterns we're going to be using for the front and the back of this dress so i'm going to use this now to cut on my actual fabric so this is what it looks like guys i've gone ahead to cut out on my actual fabric and as you can see i did not add any stitching allowance to the neckline but i added stitching allowance to the top to the side and to this side as well except the neckline so i've also gone ahead to cut out my lining piece with the black and also i cut out my interfacing just with the same measurement as well so this is the actual fabric this is the lining and this right here is the st so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to join the st to the actual fabric so i'm going to just place this right on it like this there's a part of the st that is rough so that's the part that you're going to face towards the fabric so i'm going to head over to the iron now and iron this on my actual fabric and i'll do the same thing for the back pieces as well 
so guys i've gone ahead to iron my st on it and you can see how it's now together and it just has a way of giving it some strength so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is to place my lining piece on it like this just like you see me doing like this and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch the neck area together So guys, I've stitched it down and right now, this is what I have. I'm just going to go ahead and make notches around the neckline. And what I'm going to do is to go ahead and stitch the inner part of the neckline here towards the lining all the way around. So guys, I'm through with that part of the neckline and this is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is to place my front and back pieces right sides facing each other like you see me doing like this so when you're through with that you're going to arrange the shoulder area like this just like you see me doing it ensure that the lining and the lining are facing the same direction the actual fabric as well is on the same part and you're just going to go ahead and pin it down just like you see me doing So now I'll go over to the sewing machine and stitch this area down and I will do it for the other side as well. So guys, after I was done stitching it down there, this is what it looks like. So can you see how the lining just goes in and everything it just comes out really nicely. It's just a very nice way of stitching your actual fabric and your lining together and it doesn't really show at all so that's what we have there so now the next thing is i'm going to go ahead and stitch the sides of the top so for the first part i'm going to fold in the other part into this first shoulder i don't know if you understand but if you don't understand what i'm trying to explain just look at what i'm doing fold every other part into this one shoulder ensure that the shoulder for the lining and the actual fabric are meeting exactly at the same place so you're going to go ahead and pin the lining with the actual fabric making sure that the other part of the actual fabric is inside i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but at least you're seeing it as i'm doing it right now So when you're done pinning it down you're just going to go ahead and make a stitch on this side here so guys after i was done making the stitch this is what i have so i'm going to just bring it out just like you see me doing like this we're going to bring it out and here look at what we have here so this part of it is secured and sealed so now we're going to do the other side just like that now this time we'll put every other thing inside it like this and then pin the actual fabric and the lining on this other side we're just going to pin it down and do it just like we did the other side as well and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down on this part so guys after i was done stitching down the both sides went ahead to iron it out this is what i have you can see how neatly everything came out so now it's time to add the band so i've gone ahead to cut out this band so the measurement i have here is 14 inches and my waist measurement divided by 2 is 12. so i added extra 2 inches so that i'll be able to stitch this on both sides to join it together and also i cut out four pieces of these so two for the front and then two for the back so just look at how i'm doing it i just folded this into two to get the center of these two pieces so now on this part of the top as well i'm going to fold it into two as well to get the center can you see what i'm doing so now i'm going to place this here ensuring that that center notch i made is on the center of the top then i'm going to place it like this so the top is in between the band but ensure that all the notches you made are exactly meeting each other at the same point and go ahead and pin it down so when you've done that you have something looking like this you just go ahead and stitch this side down here and i'm going to do it for the both parts so guys this is what i have after i was done attaching the band to the both 
pieces so this is it for this is how it looks so after i ironed it out it now became really nice can you see how neatly it looks from the inside as well so now it's time to add the skirt part now this is totally up to you you can decide to add a pencil skirt to the under part of this you can decide to add a gathered skirt which is what i'm going to be adding right now so to get the full length of this dress i'm going to minus the measurements i have on the top area from the full length of the dress so what i have here is 15 inches on the top so i'm going to minus that from my full length which is 34 inches to get the length that my skirt part is going to be so this is the skirt part i have two of these one for the front and one for the back so this is the length here this is the full length of the skirt that i'm going to add to the top part to complete the length that we need for this dress so um this part of it is where we're going to gather so the measurement i have here is this is one yard and then this is 14 inches so i have one yard 14 inches for the front and for the back so one yard 14 inches each for the front and the back so now to make my gather i'm going to go ahead and make a gather stitch at this top here i'm not sure you can see this because of how colorful this print is but i've gone ahead to make that loose stitch and you can see here i have my ropes outside here so i'm going to go ahead and pull on this ropes to get my gather pull i'm actually pulling on one of the ropes you can decide to pull on the top or the bottom whichever one you pick i have a very detailed tutorial on the channel already on how you can make gather so if you're yet to see that go ahead and check it out in case you don't understand what i'm doing right now so i'm just going ahead to pull on that thread to get my gathers so after making my gathers it's time to attach it to the waist of the top so i'll measure what i have here which is 14 inches and ensure that i have the same thing on the skirt part so when i've arranged everything and i'm sure that it's exactly 14 inches as well i'm going to go ahead and just tie up those ropes so that it doesn't um, affect my gathers when i'm stitching it down on the sewing machine so now i'm going to go ahead and open my band like this ensuring that the lining is facing me and i'm going to place the actual the skirt part on it like this and the front of the skirt part is going to be facing you ensure that the front of the skirt part is facing you and i'm going to go ahead and stitch this down here so after i was done stitching it down this is what i have so it looks really neat on the back and then when you flip it over to the front it looks as if it's rough now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and cover it up with the other part of the band can you see so i'm going to fold this part of the band up once and then use it to cover the gathered part of the skirt can you see so when you do this in front it will come out really nice and clean so i'm going to head over now and stitch this down here so guys after i was done making that stitch on the front and the back part this is what i have so we're almost done with the skirts like with this whole dress actually so now i'm just arranging everything in place the skirt part ensuring that everything is thin right in place right sides facing each other so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave seven inches away from one side of the waist for my zipper and i'm going to from that point stitch it to the end and then on this other side i'll stitch it from the top to the end and then hem the end of the skirt this part i'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper so when you're through with all of that you're basically done with this dress trust me so the zipper is fixed the sides are joined and i've also gone ahead to finish up the ends and after i was done this is what i came up with so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you find it helpful and i'll see you in the next one